This is Ming Liu. We are Hasegawa Lab in Institute of Industrial Science, the University of Tokyo. We would like to introduce our work in this video, Volume Panelization Method for Solving Coupled Radiative Conductive Heat Transfer Problems in Complex Geometries. The heat radiation is one of the three fundamental forms of heat transfer, and it will become dominant under high temperature. The radiative heat transfer is widely applied in combustion applications, nuclear power plants, atmospheric reentry, and solar energy. For the simulation of thermal fluid system, the body fitted mesh is the most commonly used method. However, as the geometry becomes more complicated, the generation of body fitted mesh has become the bottleneck of the CFD workflow. Therefore, the immersed boundary method is proposed where a Cartesian mesh is used to cover the solid lying in the flow. Using immersed boundary method, the researchers can be freed from long time of mesh generation. The immersed boundary method has achieved great success in flow simulation, while its application on radiation simulation is relatively rare because the governing equation and boundary conditions for radiation simulation is quite different from flow simulation. Some researchers have applied capsule approach and direct forcing method in the immersed boundary method for radiation simulation. However, in such methods, the reconstruction of radiation intensity is always required on fluid solid interface, which makes the calculation process very complex. So far, there exists no study who accepts the accuracy and the publicity of the volume panelization method for radiative heat transfer. Therefore, a much simpler immersed boundary method based on volume panelization method is developed in our study. The development of radiation simulation solver starts from the governing equation of radiation intensity. Radiation intensity is defined by radiative energy per flow, per time, and per area normal to solid angles. The general form of radiative transfer equation can be written in this form. Well, the diffusion of radiation intensity results from absorption, emission, and scattering effects. In the present study, the scattering effect is neglected so that the radiative transfer equation can be simplified into the following form. To apply immersed boundary method to radiative transfer equation, the boundary conditions for radiation intensity considering the reflection and emission should be introduced. For diffusely emitting and reflecting opaque surfaces, the radiation intensity for outward direction consists of the reflective component according to the incoming radiation and the emissive component due to its black body emissive power. The final form of this boundary condition can be expressed as follows. The other thing should be mentioned is that even at a single point, 
the radiation may be different towards different direction. Therefore, the solid angle is defined and applied to describe three dimensional directions. The solid angle can be expressed by polar angle and atmosphere angle, so that the direction vector can be expressed by these two angles. Then, this so-called discrete ordinate method is employed to solve radiation intensity in entire solid angles in our study. After that, the boundary condition is introduced as a volume panelization term into the governing equation. Another symptom is also introduced to make the radiation intensity become zero inside the solid region. The conservation of energy equation is also considered to solve temperature field, while the radiative heat flux is introduced as heat source. In the interfacial and solid regions, the heat flux is calculated according to its definition, a derived form of the divergence of radiative heat flux is employed in fluid region. This equation are implemented into open form and sought numerically. After that, several benchmark problems are employed and solved using developed codes. The first one is a pure radiation case in a semi-circular enclosure with circular wall inside. The fluid region has a constant temperature of 1000 K, and all the solid regions and surface has a constant value of 0 K. To solve this problem using our codes, the computational domain is extended in X and Y directions to make the whole domain suitable for Cartesian grids. This slide shows a comparison of normalized heat flux along the bottom wall. The simulation result from the present solver are compared with the exact solution and the result from literature on the three values of absorption coefficient. Good agreement can be seen. The second test case is also a pure radiation problem in a quadrilateral enclosure, where the temperature of fluid region is 1000 K, and the temperature of solid wall is 0 K. Similarly, the computational domain is also extended. The normalized radiative flux from the present solver is compared with data reported in previous literatures, and good agreement can also be seen. Another more complicated case of combined conduction and radiation problem is investigated. The temperature of inner circular wall is 600 K, and the temperature of outer square wall is 300 K. The emissivity of inner circular wall is 1, and the emissivity of outer square wall is different under different test cases. The thermal conductivity is defined by a dimensionless number. The simulation results are compared with data reported in three previous literatures. A simulation using open form solver is also conducted. It can be seen that the simulation results from the present solver lie within the range of previous data, which validates the accuracy. However, theories of solutions can be seen using open phone solver, which is quite different from other results. At last, we would like to make a brief summary. A novel numerical methodology for simulating pure radiative and coupled radiative conductive heat transfer problems is proposed 
based on the discrete ordinate method and the immersed boundary method. The volume parallelization method is successfully implemented in radiative heat transfer equation for the first time in order to reproduce the emission, absorption, and reflection on a complex surface between solid and fluid. Several benchmark problems are considered for verifying the present cause, including the pure radiation problems in semicircular and quadrilateral enclosures, and also a combined conduction radiation problem in a square enclosure. The present numerical results are compared with the exact solutions and numerical results reported in the existing literatures. In general, good agreement can be confirmed, and this verifies the accuracy of the present numerical approach. That's all. Thank you for your attention.